Hi, I'm Don Jones, and in this micro nugget, I'm going to give you some tips for changing settings in Windows 8. It seems like every new version of Windows has always rearranged the control panel a little bit, but Windows 8's been a pretty severe rearrangement, and, and your users and even yourself might have trouble finding things. We'll resolve that right now. Seems like finding the control panel gets to be a bigger and bigger deal, and, and goodness, it's, it's very frustrating with Windows 8 sometimes. For example, let's say you know the trick of pressing Windows I to pull up the information tab, or even if you don't know that one, maybe you know the trick for Windows key and C to get the charms bar, which at least has a settings button. Now, either of those tricks will work both here on the start screen or in the traditional Windows desktop. Windows C, charms bar, Windows I, information panel. And there is a change PC settings thing, and that's one of the first things your eye goes to, and, and it launches this modern UI, full screen style, kinda dumbed down control panel. Now, this can be frustrating for administrators, but for your users, this is actually not a terribly bad thing. It, it gives them just the things that they usually are going to need to see. Where they can change their wallpaper, their start screen, what kind of account picture they wanna use, um, configuring notifications in the notification area, the sharing tab, um, how search is configured, all this stuff. But for us admins, this gets a little frustrating. It's, we're after network configuration and power settings and, and, and where's all that? Well, Windows key to get out of here. There's a couple of ways you can get to what it is you really need to get to. First of all, if you've pulled up that charms bar again, click on settings and this will get you to the, the info tab. Now you'll notice that this is a little bit different. All right, just sort of embrace this in your mind for a second. This is slightly different from the Windows I, oops, I need to get out of here first, Windows I on the desktop. If I do this over here, you'll notice now I get a hard link to my control panel, and this is the real good old control panel. And I can get it down to icons, and I can get everything I want to. So this is probably the quickest and fastest way for me is to get to the desktop, which if you're on the start screen and you want to stick totally with the keyboard, just hit uh, Windows D, Windows I, and Control Panel. Boom. Because even if you're there, even if you're here and you hit Windows I and you hit Change PC Settings, you're switching back into this full screen modern UI style application, which isn't where I want to be at all. Now, another way, and if you've used Windows 8 for a little bit, this might have occurred to you, is to get into the Start screen and just start typing Control Panel. Control Panel. There we go. That'll get you to the old style control panel, which gives you access to everything, your power, all that. Now there's a few things that I actually do like this info panel for, and one of them is the ability to quickly power the keyboard on or off, or power the computer on or off, and quickly get to my network settings. So I can click this, it'll get to show me that this is connected, and then I can access sharing from there, I can click on this thing to do different stuff to it. So. There's a few little statusy type things you can get over here pretty easily, but at the end of the day, you really want the control panel. That's how you find it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.